Shocking new video shows armed cartel members on patrol in what federal agents are calling the most dangerous sector of the southern border. And Griff Jenkins joins us live with all the details. Griff's been down to that area. Griff, what's the latest? Hey, Angelie, good morning. And it is one of the most dangerous areas. They dubbed it Cartel Island because it's a mile-long no-man's land in the middle of the Rio Grande River. Cartels use it, Angelie, to smuggle drugs, weapons, and migrants. Take a look here again at this video. You can see cartel gunmen just operating out in the open along the river bank. It's the same area where earlier this year a Border Patrol vehicle was shot. You see the bullet hole there in the front of the hood. And take a look at this thermal drone footage. This shows rival cartel cartels fighting just on the other side of Fronton Island on the Mexican side. It comes as a record number of migrants on the FBI's terror watch list crossed the border last fiscal year. You see it here, 169 total, more than the previous six years combined. And on Capitol Hill yesterday, DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas was grilled, unable to say, Ainsley, where those terror watch list migrants actually are. There's 280 something people on the terrorist watch list. Are they out of the country or the in the country? Senator, they very well may be out of the country. But you they don't know. Senator, I'm not aware of a member of Hamas crossing the border. Meanwhile, a human smuggling operation ends in tragedy. Eight people dead, including two innocent Americans, after a vehicle full of illegal migrants being smuggled crashed head on into an SUV while evading police. This happened near Batesville, Texas, just about a half an hour or so north of Eagle Pass, where we spent much of last month reporting. And officials there tell me that this crisis, the smuggling, the migrant numbers, the drugs, showing no signs of slowing down. Ainsley? Oh, my goodness. That original video that you showed of the island with the smugglers or with the cartel, they ha it looks like they have guns. They do. And they're moving guns and drugs and migrants they're walking that don't around want with them holding to them be up. apprehended. That, that's yeah. right. And this is just north of there. This accident, human smuggling, is really off the charts right now as we head into a new fiscal year, do, Ainsley. Do we know what happened to the driver of that SUV? Was, was he an American or she an American? Early indications, according to Texas DPS, showed that it was a illegal migrant in the country, but we're waiting for confirmation.